It's been a pretty long time since I've played Lion in this channel. So today we have a beautiful gameplay for you guys on how I survived solo with a crazy build of 240 attack and 270 of armor. So make sure to leave that like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. While exploring the jungle, we came across a small group of elephants. From the distance, I saw that one of them was covered in scars, suggesting that they were probably in a fight. But luckily for me, I was getting hungry and we had a little baby elephant to kill. I made my way across the river in hopes of not getting detected. Now on dry land, it was time for us to make our approach. With the sound of the jungle muffling our footsteps, we could easily get pretty close. Although a pretty small group of elephants, we do have to be very careful. After all, we don't really have a lot of armor, so probably two or three hits from an adult would be the end of our story. And that's how we do it. And some of you might probably be wondering, what the hell happened to my lion skin? Well, currently there is a bug if you take damage using a DLC or some type of skin on the lion that give you this pink skin. And because I don't really want to play as a pink lion, I decided to switch skins and resolve the issue. While I was resting, something pretty funny happened. A lioness appears on the other side of the lake. Not knowing if she had a pride or not, I decide to stand my ground and enjoy my meal. As she approaches, I was debating on either being friendly or aggressive. But because you guys know that I'm pretty unlucky finding lionesses, we might have a chance on creating a big pride. And to show her that I was not a threat, I decided to call and step away from my food because maybe she was hungry. But from the scars she was carrying on her body, it showed that she was in a fight and probably low HP. After a few minutes of hanging out, another lioness appears from out of the blue. It was obvious that these two lionesses were friends, but eventually they didn't stick for long because they decided to leave and join their own friends and their own pride, leaving us once again alone. After a long nap, it was time for us to venture out and roam the area. Sadly, this time I didn't really want a companion, so I'm very sorry for whoever this lioness was. I searched and searched, but unfortunately I didn't really find anything to hunt, to interact, or maybe to have fun with. But for my surprise, we came across a very dangerous opponent.
a adult hippo, one of Africa's most deadliest animals. And this time, it was time for me to step out a notch and confront him. This was not going to be easy. With 250 of armor, this hippo could easily kill me with only 3 hits. And I do have to admit, a bit more that I could chew, so now it was time for us to do plan B, which was escape with our life. And for the hippo, GG. After healing up with healing plants, it was time for us to do another hunt. This time, something more smaller and practical. Sadly, with no pounce mechanic or even a grab system, we are no match for the speed of a wildebeest. But we are going to face bigger problems than a wildebeest. A small lion pride. Sadly, we don't have the stats to face a group of lions. So we had to abandon our hunt and leave that wildebeest to the hands of that pride. And because this territory is occupied by a pride and we were easily killed, it was time for us to navigate to the oasis. It is not the ideal place for a solo lion like myself, but I know that there at least I would find more people and more herbivores to hunt. As always, this place is packed with lion prides. And it's usually a best place to avoid if you're trying to play solo or with a small group because this area is probably one of the most contest areas when it comes to lions. But because I do want to scout a little bit, I had to be very careful on my approach because if I got spotted by one, that would be the end of our story. For that, I decide to do a big flank from the west side and use the tall bushes as camouflage. Anything goes wrong, I have the bushes to help me. As I came closer, I spotted a adult giraffe. From the looks of it, she was not that tall, so that would mean that it was not yet fully elder. A possible hunt, but do I really want to risk it? One false move and I would either end up dead by the giraffe or hunted by other lions. With a heavy presence of lions, I decided it was not really worth it, the risk, because as soon as they were going to see a solo lion trying to kill a giraffe, they would get that opportunity to steal the food or even kill me. So it was time for us to rally and think on a better approach. While walking next to the river in the hopes of finding a crocodile to kill, I've came across a very interesting animal.
a small hippo family. We don't know if this was the same hippo that we tried to kill, but what I knew is I was getting hungry and there was a easy meal. We had to be very cautious not to lose sight of them because I knew that the hippo saw me but eventually they had to get out of the water sometime, right? We had to be also very careful from other lines because you don't want to get killed trying to kill something because you weren't paying attention. So we managed to sneak all the way up here and now we had to wait until they would get out of the water. It was time to put our little plan into action. The hippos decided to use a small island as a protection. It was not really that difficult to go across it, but we have to be very careful because we have to keep in mind that there are also crocodiles in the river. We managed to kill the baby hippo, but now we had to deal with a rogue hippo. We were fighting in a small island. One small step and I would fall into the water, making it easy for crocodiles or even this hippo to kill me. And because this hippo doesn't really know the rules, I had to basically fight for my own life. This was a pretty nice dodging practice, but I will assume that the lioness that came out of the blue was an admin that was watching this. But unfortunately, by the time I had peace to eat my meal, it already despawned. Not knowing if the hippo was coming for another revenge, I decided to leave and try my luck elsewhere. Still hungry from that encounter with the hippo, I decided to venture a little bit in search of another prey. But unfortunately, I came across this sub-adult elephant, which I'll just let the footage speak for itself.
I'll give this the benefit of the doubt. Probably he was trying to log off and I interrupted it or maybe he really combat log. Now in this server you're not supposed to use the water as an escape so by doing so you're our being but I will let you guys decide on what truly was happening. Was he trying to log off and I interrupted or did he combat log to save his elephant? Nevertheless, that little gazelle gave us a little bit of food, so it was time for us to roam a little bit and see what else was on the menu. This time we have a worthy opponent, two zebras, known for knocking out and even killing lions in the past. This was a worthy opponent for us to try and hunt, but first we needed to get close. I decided to focus the one drinking because it would give me an easy hit, but after that it was an all out brawl. The entertaining fight sadly didn't last long because of the lag that was happening. So it was a pointless fight and I decided to retreat. With this I decided to do one last hunt. This time of course I wouldn't try and attack a big group of elephants. I would try and kill the leopard that was trying to follow that big group of elephants. As I was about to attack that leopard, the elephant struck me. Now I don't know if that was on purpose or he was trying to attack the leopard. And seeing that he was targeting me and not that leopard, I would assume that they were friends. And because I can't really fight an adult elephant and of course they're mixed packing, I just decided to leave and end the video here. Now thank you very much for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed this line video. I know that I haven't been posting a lot of Animalia, that's because I'm taking a break from the game. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in a next video. Kato here, take care and peace.